Hey guys, how are we doing today? This is Rome Guruji and today we are reviewing the .OS unofficial ROM by Irene on this channel. So this is the most customizable ROM available for MI 11X, Redmi K40 or Poco F3 as known in China or globally. Now, this ROM has its own advantages and disadvantages which we will obviously discuss in this review. But before we do that, let me tell you how the installation goes. Now the installation for this ROM is pretty straightforward. Make sure you have the ROM file downloaded in your PC, right? And it's unzipped. Make sure you have all the ADB drivers installed. Make sure you have the system-wide ADB installed. Links for all will be down in the description. Now, once you have done all of this, all I want you to do is make sure you are on the stock ROM of your phone. If you're not, the I button link would be there, which will allow you to know how to go on the stock ROM. If you're on the stock ROM already, what you have to do is basically power off your phone, press the volume button down and the power button and you will boot into the fast boot mode. Now make sure you have a USB 2.0 adapter or have a USB 2.0 port on your PC because this is a USB 2.0 phone. Now once all of this is done, connect your phone to your PC, click on the win format.bat file once you have clicked on that file, the process for installation of the ROM will start. And once this process finishes, your phone will reboot into .OS. Now you do not manually have to do anything. If by chance you face an error where it's just stuck on waiting for devices, make sure you reinstall the drivers, your installation will start again. Now that we have the installation clear, let me tell you how this review is going to go about. I'll first share my experiences and my notations on this ROM and then I will tell you in depth about the customization features and the looks of the ROM since that is the speciality of the .OS ROM, right? So let's first start with what are my opinions about this ROM. Firstly, it's an unofficial ROM. It is yet to receive the official tag. It is also the first build. So you are, um, you know, you understand that there would be a few bugs here and there. Now compared to other ROMs like Hentai OS, which is extremely bare bone, this has tons of customization features. It has more customization features than most of the ROMs out there for MI 11X or the Redmi K40 or the Poco F3, however you want to call it. Now, the issue is that since this is the first build, I have faced a few bugs and comparatively more bugs than what I faced in other ROMs, right? Now, the main bug that I faced, which irritated me to a certain degree, was the phone started freezing randomly, whether I'm using Instagram, whether I'm using Chrome, it just suddenly froze up once or twice. So that is something that I did experience. The battery, uh, you know, calibration is a bit off on this ROM at this moment, but obviously it will be fixed with more usage. So I will report about that a, a bit later. But in my initial opinions, I have found that the battery is draining a little bit faster than compared to other rooms there's no issue with smoothness except for those you know sudden um, freezes i had had no issues with the smoothness per se there's so much customization available you know it feels like using android 12 but it comes at a greater cost in comparison to other rooms because this is the only room i probably feel that i found a bug that irritates me okay Though this bug does exist, it will be fixed very, very soon. So all the fixes and commits are yet to be put in this room. And I genuinely feel as, as an opinion of mine that uh, this will get better with the next update. At this point, there are a few bugs. Uh, the one I have named a few other things like a battery drain is a bit too much, right? One of those things does exist and uh, they will be fixed very soon. Other than that, I do not have any complaint with this ROM as such. It is a beautiful ROM. .OS anyways is very well known. You get a lot of stuff included in the ROM for personalization that even wallpapers are included and you can download special wallpapers from .OS. So yes, it does give you a lot, but at this point you will face a few bugs, right? These are the bugs I face. Someone else can face a different bugs. If they do, I will be adding it down to the comments. Now that we have um, had my opinion covered, let's talk about what's in the system, all right? So as you can see, this wallpaper is .OS wallpaper. And this wallpaper surely does make you feel that you are using a very sophisticated system. So as you can see, you do get, uh, you know, wallpapers directly from <coughs> .OS, which is pretty cool. So when you go to the customization, they've actually have uh, their own customization UI. 
as you can see the built-in wallpapers are also very nice other than that you can also get dot os exclusive wallpapers which i think is really cool and you can actually have a lot of other rooms um, which have their own wallpapers included in this wallpaper app so i genuinely find this very cool and they have a few paranoid android wallpapers too and we all know paranoid android wallpapers are actually very very nice so this is something that is really cool i feel but this is not the most important part you know the most important part actually is when you go into the quick settings you're going to see a very different layout as compared to all the other rooms you would have seen because this is more or less based on the android 12 look that is going to come so genuinely it looks very sophisticated very polished and very new age which is something i do like they've changed the tabs they've changed the buttons so it looks really really cool after that when you go to the settings you're going to see most of the changes in the setting itself especially the customization options so when you click on customizations you're going to see everything has its own little card which looks very aesthetic and very sophisticated after that you get tons of features right so here you can customize your aod and lock scene you can actually change the type of colors it has do you want it to be based on your notification or do you want it to be based on your uh, you know the color of accents that you have set now the special thing about this room is just like android 12 it will take the accent colors based on your wallpaper which i find to be very very cool for them to have included so there is edge lighting which you can just turn on with a click and turn it off you all also have your always on display you have your notification edge lighting and uh, you know i think this is a card that has been displayed twice so yeah that's there and you can also customize the color of your edge lighting and the amount of colors that you do have are crazy right so that's also very very cool after that we come to the status bar and even in the status bar you have tons of customization you can change the battery styles that you have and you know it is a very interesting way of actually segregating these battery styles you know like in this sort of small scroll bar kind of a thing and you also have the percentages which you can enable disable put it inside or outside i love these card interactions on this uh, specific room after that you have the qs percentage you have the show clock you have the clock positions you have seconds you have am pm styles you have traffic indicators battery lights and uh, you know these are a few of the features right now as we go on you're going to find a uh, comparatively same features in other rooms too but the way they have enabled this is much much more sophisticated as you can see so you can add or remove qs columns which is very interesting but the most interesting part is how e easy it is to add these things and how intuitive the ui feels in this customization menu after that we do have an included app lock which is very important for all the privacy nuts out there right and after that you can change a few things in the system too like double tap uh, to sleep on the status bar uh, currently double tap to wake isn't working in the room so you need to remember that you also have a uh, hold the power button for torch you know and uh, those normal uh, things like you can also you know hide the nav bar pill or you know customize the length of the nav bar pill which is again very good you can also enable advanced reboot pocket mode etc so all in all to be very honest you do have tons of features but these are the mainstay of the features that you need to see it also has the dolby audio engine now this has the same engine that runs on the havoc the moto dolby so again the sound output is pretty good and very very nice in general the experience of the room is nice and i would also suggest you to try it out once if you do not mind the starting bugs if you do mind the starting bugs i would suggest you to wait for some time and then try this again for a better and much more fluid experience that's all for this video guys if you did like the video please share like share and subscribe and also if you do want to support the channel you will find the links down below that thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next one this is rom guruji